Nice. All right, guys. So the past energy that we're working here, working with here, is the Queen of Cups. So the Queen of Cups is indicating here, guys, that there is a lot of love, a lot of romance, a lot of support that you're getting from an individual, someone that you love very deeply. Um, I'm really feeling that this person um, is potentially very sensitive, possibly, um, and they're very emotionally aware, okay? So they are very intuitive. They could be dealing with an empath, guys, so be very careful. But um, not in a bad way, but... Um, Empaths are very sensitive and they are very good at picking up energy. So um, this could even be you guys. You guys could be very sensitive and very open to your intuition at this time. You guys could be very intuitively open. And you guys have an idea of what you guys want, which is, could, like, again, that could be the Queen of Cups. Um, I don't typically look at the underlying energy with this reading, but it's very significant to me. You guys have the three of, you have the King of Cups underneath the deck with the Queen of Cups here in the past. So... There is a suit here, if I were to read the underlying energy, but because I, I, I'm not going to do that because we have a lot of cards anyway, I really want to focus on this being either you or your partner or both, considering that what we saw there with the card being underneath the deck. So there is some sort of emotional openness. There's awareness of how you feel. There's awareness of how the individual feels. There's a lot of love and a lot of support. Um, moving on to the present, you guys have the Eight of Wands. There's a lot of communication. Communication is moving presently very fast. Um, there's a lot of passion being um, being exposed here. This is also talking about the errors of love. You guys could very well be in serious love right now. You guys could really be falling hard for this individual. Um, Cupid made sure that he got the right bow. Um, so I do get the sense here that you guys are communicating with this individual, but there's also a lot of energy flowing. So this could be that there's some things that are moving very fast, faster than maybe you were expecting. So you may be feeling a bit overwhelmed at this time. Okay. Um, I'm going to show you the card really fast. So yeah, you guys can seriously be feeling overwhelmed right now, especially with um, how fast the communication is, how fast things are moving potentially maybe there's some maybe you're just rushing yourself potentially guys you want to you know you want to be careful about that um so yeah there's some things that are going on at this moment and in the future it just leads to the ace of cups which is absolutely wonderful okay new love okay absolutely new love new emotional beginning as well guys um i feel like wherever you're headed or wherever this eight of wands is leading to or trying to get to it's obviously pointing towards the eight ace of wands uh, ace of cups excuse me where that passion is going to initiate something new that passion is going to initiate some start some new start in an emotional way like there's some sort of emotional opening new love dealing with a new relationship or hitting a certain point in a relationship and having to start something new with that maybe there's a new layer of of love um that you may encounter there's some, possibly even some healing here um but we're gonna go back over this we're gonna go back to the past here with the queen of cups being the support and that loving energy the individual that you are that may be your ideal partner um and you feel very supported by this individual and i think that's great the thing here is in the pre in your internal energy which internal is looking at how you are in personally right and then external is looking at the, the outside influence i do feel like you're very focused on three cups here um you know what your cup is you know what you want with the queen of cups if you guys are the queen of cups here um typically i would read you guys as the knights because that is you know mutable energy and the cups are you know the queens or cardinal or kings are fixed but i really feel like considering that they you know the, for some of you guys emotionally you guys could be offering somebody this cup here and you're waiting on it you're trying to figure out, you know, you're waiting on it, or perhaps you receive some cup of love from an individual, and you're trying to figure out what to do with it, because you're focusing on three cups. How can you improve? How can you get better? How can you um, uh, get out of the situation where, you know, things have been the same for a long time, right? And you've de you possibly have developed a bit of apathy um, because of such, you know, such long, uh, such, you know, feelings of being stuck. Um, so there could be that idea of an individual. Maybe there's no actual person here. Maybe this could, for some of you guys out there, I do feel like this is actually a real person. You guys could be, you know, this could be a real individual here because this this person does manifest as someone real in the present. But 
for the queen of cups for a lot of you guys possibly in the past this was about your ideal lover this is someone that you are maybe someone that you want in the future someone that you um you're in love with there's if there's a possibility internally in the past you didn't see it because I mean, potentially you guys didn't see that there was a possibility for there to be new love because the Ace of Cups is right there and the focus was more on the things that you could work on, the things that you were physically here, okay? The things that were really in front of you, like what actually was going on. Um, and the party was happening right here, but there was nothing happening either. So I feel like in the past there was a lot of thinking, a lot of um, decisions to make, but ultimately a shift in focus, shifting your emotional focus onto being open with your emotions. That's what the Queen of Cups is about opening. You know, it's, she's open no matter what. So externally, I feel like you had, you know, the ending of a cycle here, ending of an emotional cycle, which explains why you have the que the Ace of Cups here and the future starting something new. Because perhaps you had an idea of what you wanted, what your heart's desire was, because you took, you know, you took the time out to really contemplate what it is that you want in a series of feeling stuck, right? Because there was something that ended currently. So something ended currently here. You took the time out to figure out what it is that you wanted. Um, and now there's some progress being made now. I feel like you're, you're, there's a progress being made because there was potentially a shift in focus. You're, the past shifted and now you're emotionally open. You are accepting that, you know, the ending has happened. They, you know, it, it was a, you know, it could have been happily ever after. So some of you guys could have been in a, an emotionally stable relationship. But for some of you guys, you just completed an emotional cycle here or there was, because of some sort of ending, there was a lot of contemplation and now you're emotionally open because you shifted your focus from the cups that this kind of weren't showing you any sort of progress. So you being open had brought in some new energies. There's some, you know, communications, there's some things flying, there's, uh, you know, arrows of love. You guys are able to, um, to communicate how you feel. Um, and honestly, you are listening, you're probably hearing someone else on how they feel. There's a lot of passion going on. Okay. There's a lot of passion. So with the eight of pen, eight of wands, I really feel like uh, there's some things that are picking up speed. Things are picking up, um, and the 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 amount of stuff that's happening, the speed of how everything's happening, could be overwhelming because because it's fast, because there's so many. But they're clear messages. It's very clear. There's nothing obstructing this. Now internally, you guys have the Queen of Pentacles. So, in mo so internally, you guys feel very grounded, or you guys feel that this individual is very grounding because this person that is not only emotionally supportive, but they're fine. You know, they're supportive, you know, uh, in other ways. Potentially, f maybe financial, but it could be that they are physically, you know, able to support you in different, you know, and support you. Um. And just providing some sort of nurturing and um ma you know ma not not maintenance but they are very good at managing and working very diligently and i feel like maybe you guys are working very hard and moving very fast in certain situations um potentially you know working very you know diligently on a certain goal the queen of pentacles is a hard worker she is she's pretty much very close to the empress in some ways um and I really feel like with the Queen of Pentacles, this person is just very solid. They just, they just, they prove to be very solid for you. And you guys could be feeling very solid in yourself. You guys could be very focusing on your, very focused on your career right now. Um, and that could be a lot on your plate, right? You're trying to maintain a relationship and um, work diligently, and that's kind of, that could be very hard. So that's probably why there's a lot of things that are moving very fast. And you're not really, you know, you know, it's overwhelming, but you're trying to, you know, maintain, you know, manage the situation, manage what you're dealing with, manage your relationship, manage, um, or building this relationship for those of you that are not currently in a relationship, but are seeing somebody, um, there's a lot of stuff to, to take care of at this time. And externally, you're coming off very defensive because you have a lot that you're trying to build. The Queen of Pentacles, she's building something. She's always actively building something. She's maintaining it. She's managing it. Yes, but she's also building something. She's That's why she works so hard. That's why she is seen as the hard worker. So for a lot of you guys, you guys could also be seeing a, a Cancer or a Capricorn. So this is very Cancer Capricorn energy here. Like this, These are literally the opposite signs right here as we see as we uh, speak, but this could be also a Cancer, uh, a Pisces Cancer Scorpio or a Capricorn 
Virgo Aquarius. Uh, Capricorn, Virgo, Taurus, not Aquarius. Um, but I do get this feeling that you guys may be feeling defensive at this moment, or feeling defensive in the present because you guys are trying to maintain so much. You guys are trying to manage so much. Works very hard to um, build something in some sort of way, but it's all coming at you very fast. Um, you're not exhausted, which is good, but you're, you know, you're on the defense and you have an advantage here. I feel like it's potentially because you have someone that's supportive and someone that's got your back, but also that you are grounded and you are very certain on what it is that you're working at and you're very diligent on working on it. So there's a lot of stuff going on here. There's a lot of stuff going on, um, that's leading you to feel defensive. Now, to pr honestly, the advice for this, for this present here. I really feel like it's important to to recognize your power because the Queen of Pentacles, yeah, she works very hard, but she also, you know, she's she's good at maintaining and things like that and keeping up with not necessarily keeping up with herself, right? She knows her value. She understands how much she's worth, and I feel like she and she, you know, as someone that knows who she's worth, she works very hard because she's got boundaries. She's got things that she's set in place to make sure that she's taken care of. That she's um, nurtured and loved on and um, made sure that she's healthy and in the right uh, in the right you know body and mindset to be able to do the work that she's doing now if you don't have boundaries you may find yourself co you know fi fending off things or constantly defensive because things are coming at you at such a rapid pace that you don't really know how to control it you do have the power in you to control the situation or to control what how much it's coming at you how fast it comes at you and you can deal with it or not deal with it but the more important thing is if you have boundaries guys you won't feel so overwhelmed and you know constantly on guard okay boundaries are what you know save lives um and to really honestly put it bluntly it's going to make your life a better place to be all right it's going to be a it's going to be easier to live in honestly in your world if you have boundaries so it's important to know your value so that way you can set things up to be able to to def to you know defend off the people that or coming at you too much or coming at you too fast or honestly to help handle or put the reins on the the ones that are coming in rather fast and potentially overwhelming you now moving on to the future and how this is all kind of shifting over to you know you the progress that you're making and finding your value and looking at your value and really working and finding things that truly appreciate and know your value you find that you're going to begin something new emotionally, something that sparks up some sort of new desire in you. Um, I feel like the Ace of Cups is not just a new beginning in love, but it's also a new beginning in figuring out what it is that you truly want to do. Honestly, it's like the start of find of feeling something for a certain task or certain work because you have the Queen of Pentacles here. So for a lot of you guys, it could be that, you know, you guys start something new in, a dire in the direction of fulfillment emotional fulfillment um so i really honestly feel that way you guys could be getting close to that period where you're trying to be like okay or, you, or something may spark where you're like hey you know what i think i might actually like this i mean i think i might actually enjoy doing this or or and uh, enjoy l this person and this person enough to actually contemplate on having a future with them now internally you have the hangman this is about you know, being stuck in limbo and waiting and just trying to see things from a different perspective. So this new perspective, again, like I said, it has a lot to do with this new beginning towards finding what your heart's desire is. And I feel like it's because you, you know, there's a lot going on. There's a, you know, things moving very fast and or things not lasting very long um, because there's not, you're not, you're not sure of the value of yourself. And if you have that value, if you know what you're worth, you'll be able to figure out what it is that you want to do. And you won't feel like you, you know, things will, you know, will pass you by or things will kind of end in a, in a hurry because you're very grounded, right? You, you want things that actually, that you can commit to and keep, you know, keep going for a long time, well, at least to, to some degree. But with the Ace of Cups, right, I feel like with the Hangman, really, honestly, with the Ace, with the Ace of Cups, I feel like it's really talking about it's honestly talking about holding, holding on, staying, you know, really taking a second to really look at what it is that truly inspires you, that truly 
makes you feel good emotionally because the queen of cups here and then the ace of cups she knows what she wants always she knows what she wants she knows what her heart's desire is she knows what's in her cup she doesn't show it with anybody she doesn't need to see it because she knows what's in it but now you're starting something new potentially with this whatever it is that you truly want and you're having to see see something from a different perspective you may feel stuck but only stuck because there's some perspective that needs to be seen okay now moving into the external you have the ten of swords so externally you have the worst is over the worst is over things you know whatever's ended whatever is put to end because whatever you're working hard on whatever's overwhelming whatever is kind of get, becoming too much i feel like you know you may be kind of stuck in limbo trying to see things from a new perspective to overcome the difficult ending that you just faced and to see you know find a way to overcome and to recover from this you know from this difficulty and that's why it's in the beginning because something's ended here and you have to heal from this so it's not just that a heart's desire because i really feel like that's too right you find there's a new heart's there's a new discovery of what your heart really craves but most importantly this is a new this is new heal this is a new time of healing, a new beginning to to you know, or the, or the you know, excuse me, a new uh, process of healing or a new beginning towards the process of healing. Something like you know, something healing oriented because the ten of swords, you have to recover from this, right? Or you're gonna end up staying there for a long time. I feel like whatever ended badly it's put you in a place where you feel like you can't move or you can't make the necessary steps to move forward. But the worst is over. There is all you can do now is recover. So that's why there is this Ace of Cups. You can recover and you can start over. And you can start again with uh, you know with emotions flowing and ideas and honestly, most importantly, having an idea of what is in your cup. Most importantly, okay. I'm gonna go ahead and. Well, you guys your wisdom of the oracle or sorry uh your whispers of love for the week wow what a very interesting reading the future doesn't seem too great but honestly i do, like i told scorpio there's no situation that's given to you that you cannot handle Oh, okay. And it says, uh, practice compassion. See things from a different perspective. And that's what it's talking about in the future here with the hangman. Very interesting. Wow. Um, show yourself compassion. And it makes sense with the Ace of Cups. Because the Ace of Cups is healing. And healing, you're going to need compassion for. Okay. Oh, forgiveness is underneath here too. Look at that. Maybe there's something you need to forgive someone for in the future but most importantly the shift here is that there is something that you're having to overcome from this period of time and now and practicing compassion to towards yourself most importantly because you are the one that's putting in the work you're the one that's you know is making the effort to make something happen and you're being swamped and you're being you know pretty much bogged down with stuff when you don't have to you're the queen of pentacles you do what you want to do you do what you feel has value right if it don't really work it's not worth you doing something why are you doing it that's the end game right you have to give yourself compassion you don't have to do the work because you feel obligated to don't ever feel obligated because the queen of wands queen of cups queen of pentacles excuse me she's never obligated to do anything it's always something that that she values that she does work for she always comes from a place of genuinity and authenticity um when it comes to doing the things that she does that's why she works so hard she doesn't work hard but she doesn't work for obligation she works for what she feels is worth her time and i feel like that's the boundary that you need to make for yourself what situation is worth your time because in the past year you had you know you were waiting taking on you know it was taking a lot of time you're waiting 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 and now it's an ending of some sort of situation and you're more emotionally open I feel like you're open to the possibility of new love because you're uh, because you're kind of tired of seeing the same old same old and that ending has come had come and now you're open and now you're back to or you could be dealing with situations where you're kind of obligated you're putting yourself in obligations and you're you know feeling overwhelmed 
you don't have to go through that. 